The goal in step five is to pair up the ed these edges with the centers. The algorithm in this step is F U F I U F 2 U F I U. To do this step, first analyze the cube and look for two edges and centers that are already paired up. If you don't find any, then just rotate the top layer and analyze each time you do. Here, one face is matched up, but we need two, so keep rotating it. And here we go, the green and orange edges are paired with their centers. But there are two possibilities that could happen here. The first is what you see right now, where the edges are right next to each other. The second is when you find the paired edges and centers opposite from each other. When this happens, position the cube so that any face faces towards you and then just do the algorithm. F U F I U F 2 U F I U. Then just look around the cube again for any paired edges or centers and just rotate until you find them if you didn't. And here we go, red and green have paired centers. Now with the cube positioned just like this, do the algorithm again. The objective for step six is very similar to the goal for step two. You will need to put each corner into the right spot, but we will worry about orienting them later. The algorithm used in this step is U R U I L I U R I U I L. So look for a corner that is already in place. Now in this case, there are no corners. In order to get one in place, do the algorithm U R U I L I U R I U I L. And then just look around the cube until you find it. Here, here is one in place. Now it may not look like that, but it is. It's just not oriented right. Yellow, orange, blue, yellow, orange, blue. So, with it facing this way, do the algorithm again, once or twice, and each time, check to see if the corners are in place. There, it only took once that time. Step 7, the last step. The goal for it is to orient the corners so that they are positioned correctly, in doing so, we'll solve the cube. The algorithm in this one is the same one as in step two. R I D I R D. Just like in step five, there will be three different possibilities. The first is that four corners won't be oriented. The third is that there will be three corners unoriented. And the last is that there will only be two corners that need to be oriented. In this case here, there are four corners that need to be oriented. You will use the algorithm two or four times to orient each corner. But when you do that, most of the cube will be scrambled. But don't worry, after you're all done orienting the corners, the rest of the cube will become solved, thereby the cube will be completely solved. So just take a corner, and with it facing you in this position, do the algorithm. R I D I R D R I D I R D. That time it took only twice. Now just rotate the top layer so that another unoriented corner is in the same place where the last one was. Then just do the algorithm two or four times again.
you will find that after doing this algorithm six times, the rest of the cube will become solved. There, now the rest of the cube is solved, and you have all the corners oriented. The only thing to finish it off is to move the top layer again. This concludes the tutorial. 